Hey y'all. So in this video, we are going to install something that I'm really excited about that is gonna have so many benefits for some of the other accessories that I've already installed. Uh, and it's something again that I just think that Ford should have put in as a, as a factory option, especially for the Bronco, if nothing else specifically for it. And what that is, is a power supply system for the top. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, this accessory spot. So if we've got our, and I just took this down to make it easier, but the rail mount, you've got a rail mount installed uh, and you've got you know, GoPros or your phone up here. I've got my phone mount over here that I did a video on that I like even more. And I'm excited about it because now I can run a power cord across the dash to this instead of running it the way I have it now, going up over my steering wheel. I absolutely hate this. I hate it. So I'm excited to have power supply up there and it is going to come in the form of this, made by Maven. So we'll have two of the USB-Cs, one USB port uh, to be able to power and it just taps in to the power that comes from this. Again, really, really smart. So let's, uh, let's get this install started and see how easy it is. enough. All right, just so you can see the packaging. Very simple. Comes with two of the trim tools. And the packaging is nice. Nicely secured. All right, so there actually is two Allen screws that have to be removed first. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, little, little frustrating, but uh, it's a torque 15 bit is what you need. Would have been nice if that was in the instructions. Or even better if they just included it, but. It's really hard to, to see down in there um, to make sure you're in that spot. That was annoying, but nice. Next, we're gonna use the included tool, pry tool. Oh, there we go, that popped up quite nicely and easily. Next, we're gonna use the same tool Pop this up. Yep, get that off. And the wire we're gonna access. Wire we're gonna access is right here on the back. Now, if your pigtail wire came attached to the hub, make sure you disconnect it because we've got to pass this part through the hole and then connect these to the connector here. All right, so we are just going to disconnect the harness here. Simple enough. We're going to connect this in line. Make sure you hear it click. Give it just a slight tug. Turn this around and make sure we feed this up here. So, just so you can see a little better. Feeding that line up through here. 
All right, once we have the wire wire ran through there, the two wires connected, I'm gonna place this back in. Now this connector here is extra because in, there's not a lot of room in here. So I'm gonna try to push it up into this area so it's not pinching and then plus when I push this down, it's not pinching any of the wires. Now we're just going to reconnect or connect the wire to the hub and then use the original screws that I don't like. And I'll see if I can get my head back up in here. This works smarter. Let's put the, start the screws out here. All right, that was not fun, <laughs> but it's just a pain. As you can see, those port screws are just hard to get in because of the glass, like you can't see, you can't get your head up in there, but we are good now and it's done. I mean, it was, besides just getting those 15 port screws out and back in, you know, super easy job. Now let's, uh. Let's test it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna test is one of the USB-C slots. Charging. All right, if you notice, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a time lapse here. We're starting at 8.08 on the clock, and you will notice that the iPad I'm using is charging the entire time. Now we're doing about five minutes on each charging port. So this is just on the first one. As you see, we get to 813. All right, so it's been five minutes on this charge. It's charged all the time. I'm just going to change the USB-C to the other spot. As you see, it's not charging. And we are charging now. And it is charging. Second USB spot. All right, doing the same thing here. We're starting it at 8.13. We're going to go to 8.18, charging in the second spot of the USB. I was actually surprised here to see that not only did, was it charging, but it went up uh, 2% on this. So that was nice. All right, so that is five minutes on the other USB-C. Things I want to point out is charge the entire time. We started this at 8.00 really 807 so we've gone 11 minutes and charged the whole time on both sides not only that this old ipad that is a battery eater charged up two percent so that's that's another great great thing as well so now all that's left to do is test the original uh, usb all right so now we're just going to test the usb now the time is going to be a little harder to do it with this blinking light instead of you seeing the charge symbol like on the iPad, but everything looks good. Both mini USB-Cs and the traditional USB port, no issues charging. The low battery that you see is from the phone that I'm using to record this. Okay, so here's my one suggestion, what I would like to see. If there's any way to where the plugins could not be on the top, but instead be here facing outwards so that the plugs could plug in like this, it would make the cords not visible because then the cords could lay flat instead of sticking up like that. That's the only thing I'm not a huge fan of on this. I wish they could be pointing out that way. So maybe version two suggestion. I'm just trying to figure out a way to, I hate wires. I hate seeing wires. So if I can think of a way to hide this wire, I really want to get power over here to my phone. But if y'all got any suggestions on how I could hide this wire a little better, put them down in the comments. Love to hear it. All right. So that's the video. We replaced the factory accessory ready part. I came with the 
tool that you need. Just also, you're going to have to get a torque 15 bit. That was the only thing that I disliked about this install. That part, taking that, that torque bit out and putting it in was a little frustrating to say the least. But uh, the testing I did, I tested it for 15 minutes, five minutes on each single port. Absolutely no problems. I'll report back if I have any issues uh, while, while using it out there in the field. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know, definitely if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, you know, leave your comments in the section. Let me know what you thought. If you think there's anything that I should have done differently or something I could have done to install that a little easier for those tour bits. Um, always appreciate the feedback. If you want to be notified when I'm posting the next video on the Bronco, AKA Bronco source, all you gotta do is subscribe if you like to. Now, obviously I do this just for fun. This is a passion project of mine. I really enjoy doing it replying to, to everybody that comments and sends me questions. You know, now I think this is video number 14 in the series on the Bronco and there's, there's more to come, a lot more to come. So I really appreciate the support. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the flip side.